afternoon everyone from YouTube. Um, this is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a quick swatching, hopefully, um, of the new Durant Inktense um, Sketcher set that I talked about in my last video. I'll put the link somewhere up above or and definitely down below. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick swatching. Last time I kind of opened it up and said I wasn't going to swatch. I think I need to swatch it this week. Um, I'm in hot and heavy right now. It is Inktober. Um, I did pick up the new Strathmore. This is the new, it comes with a nice little closing band. Um, watercolor travel journal that I've been using for Inktober. This is a 140 pound, 300 GSM cold press journal. I've been using it for my Inktober sketches. Um, so I just finished day 10 sketch and I'm going to probably use whatever is left over in this book um, for future um, sketches but I think I might end up completing out um, this entire entire this entire journal uh, for Inktober but in the interim I still have my carry around pocket um, Stillman and Burn Zeta series uh, three by five sketchbook, which I absolutely love. I've been really just enjoying utilizing this. It's a great mixed media um, watercolor journal. And so I'm going to go ahead and swatch the inks from this set, which this makes this a extremely pocketable carry around, um, you know, on the go journaling set. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this out right now. Let me just put this clip down on the page so it holds the pages down. Um, I don't, I have not done a lot of research on it. Like I said, when I kind of opened up the box, Danny Gregory did a, a review of this um, line and color for urban sketching, and that's the purpose of this kit. Um, the fine liners to kind of help you get your, your lines down, and um, there's a 0.3 and a 0.8 on that and their nib sizes look like respectively so so you've got the point three and then here's the point eight on the bottom so you can get your lines down and i'm looking forward to working with these fine liners i've never worked with durant fine liners but like all durant items i'm assuming that they're going to be just fine okay so this line and in ink wash kit um, have sun yellow, mango, poppy red, autumn brown, port, bright blue, Payne's gray, ocean blue, um, artichoke, which looks like a lovely gray green, meadow, natural brown, and stony gray. I love the fact that they gave me the swatching card on some kind of like water resistant vellum sheet here. And then, uh, let's see here, they gave it a nice film color. Oh, they gave you almost everything that you really, let me see something really quick here. I'm going to do it this way. They gave you everything that you really <laughs> need. They took out the need for you to carry a towel around. So let me just take this off so I can get into the, um, some of the colors have graphite in them. So that kind of helps with the wash, um, on this. So I'm just going to swatch these colors out. I've got a bottle, I mean bottle got a little thing of water and a brush over here to the side. Um, I do like, although I probably will not use, that they gave us a nice little portable brush. Um, and I'll probably do this keeping it. I have in my own little sketching pouch. This is normally what I take with me when I'm going out urban sketching. Um, and now this will get replaced. Now I, I've talked about these Ink Tents Viviva color sheets that I got in the Inktober kit from 2020, which this was cool. The paper from this set, I didn't particularly care for, but I have all these travel brushes that I also like to carry with me from Escoda. Um, so that is what I normally would carry in my kit. And I would still probably carry this kit along with um, this paint and ink lime wash kit. So let's just go ahead and swatch this out. I wanted. I wanted to get a pen, so I'll just go ahead and write these colors down because I want to see how they're going to react in this book. So let's see here. Okay, these are Durant. 
I don't wash colors. And I have sun yellow. And I'm just going to try to put these colors down. Mango. The poppy red. The autumn brown. Okay, for a 0 0.3 brush, this is writing like the 0.8, so I think I put the caps on the wrong ones. So let's see here. Yeah, because this is definitely writing like too thick for it to be a 0.8. I've got port. Yeah, this is much better. Bright blue. Love Payne's Gray. Just making sure I'm in frame here. So now I have a reference for what it will look like on this paper. And I do like, I will say one thing about this kit before I do the swatches, I do like the ample amount of mixing space that they gave us in this palette. So that's really another nice little feature. All right. yellow mango and I will say the orange is there we go it's a nice bright orange Be red. Again, these are okay. So this is where you get um, got some granulation going on, and you've got a little bit of I think graphite going on because it's kind of almost like a brick red. It's showing. It looks like on camera in my viewfinder from my phone that I'm shooting this on to be a little bit brighter than it really is showing up in real life. Let's do, that looked like autumn brown, but they said that that's poppy red. And I beg to differ. <laughs> I think this palette's got the color switched around. Yeah, the colors are switched around. So this is really the poppy red and this is really the autumn brown. So I don't know how that happened in this kit. Oh, and this is cool. More mixing space, oh, sorry. I guess I did not see that. Let me zoom back out. Okay, so in my kit, it says that this is supposed to be poppy red, and it's clearly that they kind of missed this up because this is the poppy red, <laughs> and this must be the autumn brown, and now my, my whole entire swatch thing is kind of screwed up. So I don't know how these come up, but I am going to be trying to rectify this issue right now. If I can, I might have to wait until this dries. Yeah, but it's good to know that these little half pans can come up. I just got to figure out how to lift it out of what it's currently in. And again, I'm still having issues with my darn thumbs, so I apologize, but I really want them to be in the order that they say they are on the card. But it's not lifting, so I'm going to have to play with that. 
Um, the next color is supposed to be port, so hopefully it is actually port. And let me zoom back up again. So once again, autumn brown, poppy red, out of order. Let's pray that this is actually in order. And if I was paying a little bit closer attention, which I wasn't, <laughs> I would have noticed that the red was in the wrong spot. Okay, so that is port. And I think you're gonna lose, I'm gonna lose you in the frame. So let me just bring that back up. We'll go and do the bright blue. And I did not pre-wet these, but the colors are pretty nice. I do think so far though, the port and the what is really autumn brown have graphite in them um, a little bit because they're kind of toned down. Then we're supposed to have Payne's gray here, which seems to be in alignment to what I'm expecting a Payne's gray to look like. We have ocean blue, which looks like it needs to be wet a little bit more, which is a nice toned down stormy kind of blue color. Then we have artichoke, which I think is gonna be a lovely kind of grayish green. actually really like this color a lot and then we have meadow and I don't know if you guys are picking this up but it seems to be a little granulating which I don't mind um, and kind of like a dirty green or olivey green also really pretty then we're going to go into natural brown And then lastly, Storm Gray. All right. So that is what the swatches look um, for this. That's all I really have for this video. I will say that the colors seem to be a little gra granulating. Um, the sun yellow looks like it needs to be wet it quite a bit. I'm just going to kind of go back in and do that one again because I didn't put as much water on it or depth. But the cool thing about it is I'm noticing if you wanted to do a light wash with these colors, it's totally possible to do. And that's a really cool thing because, you know, if you're in an urban, truly urban environment, sometimes your colors can look kind of muted on things. But really lovely colors. I actually really do like this. I'm looking forward to utilizing these in the fall and um, going forward. That's it. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If this is your first time subscribing, thank you for stopping by. Please hit that like button and smash the subscribe so that you can get more content as it comes out. Um, I should be getting back to fountain pens probably towards the end of this month, if not um, early November, with an, a pen that is coming that I'm looking forward to and maybe a couple of inks. All right, stay tuned, take care. Thank you so much. Until next time, bye.